it's very important for us to play the game consistently and constantly because the more you know about what you've built, the more you know about how it works and what you what works and how you want to like stress it moving forward. It helped us grow as a team. It also knew that we had something special on our hands as a competitive game with depth. What we were looking at while developing it, obviously we had a few like clear axes that we wanted to respect. Uh, like there's a certain idea of uh, reactivity. The fact that we're running in 60 FPS, for instance, is very important for us. You want the two sides to have just as much uh, chances to win, so you want things to be balanced. But when it comes to multiplayer, there's no magical recipe, so you have to test and keep on testing, keep on testing. En fait, la meilleure façon qu'on a trouvé de pratiquer le jeu en interne, en tout cas, c'était de faire du tournoi et de faire de la compétition en interne. Donc la compétition, c'est pas forcément quelque chose que l'on a designé. On s'est pas dit, allez, on va commencer sur un terreau compétitif. La compétition est née naturellement, en fait. La majorité de nous ici, sur le dev team, sont des hardcore gamers. Donc, être involved à l'extent que nous étions involved et nous donner l'opportunité de kind of influencer le jeu, vraiment poussé les gens à être plus involved, à être plus en depth dans le jeu. And then we saw how many people were watching tournament matches being played. And you know, following from one player's perspective was always great, but we thought, you know, there's so much more going on in the match than just what one person is experiencing. Quand on regarde un FPS, en fait, on voit 90%, 100% de la quasi 100% de l'action en étant dans la vue caméra du joueur. Et nous, dans notre spectateur mode, on a fait le contraire. Je regarde l'intégralité de l'équipe, je vois tous les mouvements se faire, je vois tout le travail préparatoire. Et après, quand j'ai besoin, je peux aller directement voir l'action individuelle. So the spectator has a control in their hand. They have to navigate. They can switch between the RTS style, the third person, versus the, the first person. There is zooming out, there is rotation. So everything that you need and, and want is already there, and it's extremely user-friendly. What's really interesting about handing out the spectator cam to the community is that anyone is going to be able to pick up the game and watch a game live. So they can really adapt it to their own preferences and find the right balance between skill and immersion and comprehensions and tactics. We always wanted to make sure that this game can be able to participate to the players because that's what makes the difference. Et quand on voit que l'on joue et qu'on se laisse happer, absorber, qu'on commence à avoir euh, même des comportements de mauvais joueurs, etc., ça veut dire qu'on est vraiment en train de jouer. You're brought in and it brings an emotion and like you know you're you're into it and it's enjoying to watch and you root for a team. There's so many things going on. There's a story being displayed. Games being able to do that now and you know Siege possibly being able to do that for a lot of people as well is something that you know it's awesome. It's amazing.